Hello everyone, this is Daniel, and I'm thrilled to welcome you back to our channel. Today, we're going to tackle an interesting trick about protecting and unprotecting ranges in Google Sheets across multiple files. Okay, if you are ready, let's get started. Our first step involves cloning a one-click button template. You can find the link in the description below. Alright, let's hit the make a copy button here. Remember, it's always smart to ensure your script is safe to use. You can achieve this by copying this entire code and pasting it into an AI program like ChatPT or Google's Bard to validate its safety. Now, let's return to the previous screen and click on the Make a Copy button. Let's wait a moment for the template to load completely. Perfect, we're all set to go. To start, there are a few cells in our template we need to fill out. First up, the spreadsheet IDs. To retrieve these IDs, let's navigate to our sample files. Here's a spreadsheet that has three sheets filled with sample data. Let's take a quick look at another file. Notice, the layout is identical to the previous one. To get the spreadsheet ID, we'll copy this part of the URL and then paste it into our template file. Place the spreadsheet ID right here. We'll follow the same procedure for the other file. Copy this spreadsheet ID here. Then, return to the template file and paste it. Be sure to separate the spreadsheet IDs with a comma. Next up, we're going to input the range we want to protect. Suppose we want to protect ranges A3 to A7. Now, we'll enter the email address or addresses of users who are allowed to edit the protected range. OK, now we can hit the Protect button. As it's your first time running this, Google will ask you to grant some permissions. Click on Continue, then select your Google account. Next, click on Advanced, then click this link here. Finally, hit Allow. Now, we'll need to hit the Start button again to get things rolling. You'll see a dialog box prompting you to check and confirm your inputs. Hit OK if everything looks fine. Now, the script is executing. And voila, we're done. Let's head over to our files for a quick check. Yes, the specified ranges have been protected for this sheet, and only the specified users can edit it. Now, let's examine the second file. Indeed, the ranges have been protected here as well, with the same editing permissions. Now, let's return to our button template. It's time for me to show you how to unprotect the ranges. Just click this button right here. And that's it. Let's revisit our files. Yes, indeed. The ranges have been successfully unprotected for this sheet. The same applies to the other file. And there you have it, a simple yet effective Google Sheets trick that can save you from time-consuming manual processes. If you found this useful, do subscribe to my channel for more such Google Sheets tips and tricks. Thanks for watching.